I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how we typically install this DIY ground mount system. So the first thing you're going to install is going to be your piles. We're going to do a pile layout. We're going to pre-plan it so you know exactly what the spacing is from front to back as well as side to side. The first part after you've put your screw piles in the ground is you're going to put these uprights in place. They're pre-assembled and so all you're doing is unfolding them and you're getting them level and then you're going to torque the nuts on them. And so once you have the uprights in place, which is going to be this major part, and you're going to do that on every single screw pile. This one has four uprights. You're then going to be putting on the horizontal cross beams. And so the horizontal cross beam is going to be here and we're going to attach that to the upright and just level out the array. Once we have the beams all installed, the next thing is going to be your electrical. So you're going to be installing your optimizers where every single panel is going to run just underneath each panel. Once you've done that, you're going to run the cables back to a little junction box so they're pre-ready to be wired into the inverter. And then the next thing we're going to do is basically just install the panels. And the panels go on quite simply. They have these uh, mid end clamps. They're going to go right into the rail and they just match up with the panel. It's a super slick system. And so the ends are going to be on the side and then you're going to have mid clamps which go between the middle of each panel. And you're just going to move along the array panel after panel and build up and over.